Hello, everyone, and welcome back for our next episode of Detroit Become Human. Mind blown, the graphics and fidelity and the polish on this game. It's unbelievable. We've encountered three main AI characters from what I can tell so far. I don't know how many there are, but we had Connor at the beginning, which I got killed, but completed the mission. Kara, who appears to be in kind of a sketchy little situation. I got a feeling that one's going to turn very active here soon. What all is going to happen next? I don't know, but I'm super excited to get in there and find out some more. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hope you have an awesome time. And if you do, it would be awesome if you'd hit that subscribe button for me. Without any further ado, smack the like button, everyone. We're going to find out more about Detroit become human here we are everybody November 5th 2038 this is all still the same day I think November 5th is where we started right all right here's our character that just picked up the paint I I don't think we have a name for him yet Marcus okay Deposit package. Yo, this place is beautiful. Oh my goodness. We get little uh, baby mermaids. Or mer, mer babies. <laughs> Guess that's a thing, right? Let's see. Uh, retrieve order 847. Oh, I thought that was like his name or his designation there at first. So we've collected the package. We need to deposit the package. Oh, there's something over here we can interact with. This game is mind blowing. I am love. Oh, Can we look at ourselves. Part of me wonders why they find it so fascinating to look at ourselves. I guess part of that would be like, why would a robot care? But I don't know. What? I'm not gonna. Oh, are they not real? They're AI birds. Turn on. What? Okay, I wouldn't mind having a couple of AI birds. <laughs> That's wild. Gotta remember to charge them up, right? Oh my goodness, this place is beautiful. Okay, Marcus. What's the story behind Marcus? Uh, there was a door over here. Oh, let's see. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna try to remember which one is to change. Oh, I can do something over here. I think it's a face. Yeah, looks like it's a face there. Side view of the face. Deposit package. Look at that. Automatic doors. They're wooden. I didn't think they'd actually open automatically. Uh. Oh, I can't go in there. Okay. Oh, can't go that way either. But we can look in there. That's amazing. Okay, upstairs is where I'm guessing we have to go. Oh, no, not that way either. What am I missing? Outside? Uh... It must be over this way. Okay, interesting fact. The game actually crashed right there and I had to reload. But what's really funny is I'm going to play a short little clip here for you. This is what the little AI girl said when I booted the game back up. I, I couldn't believe it. Oops. I think your saved game is corrupted. Just kidding. There was a brief moment of panic. Not going to lie. Okay, so. Where to go? Maybe I can't get in this little side room over here. I just wasn't doing it quite right. Change the angle, maybe? Deposit the package. Where do I deposit it, though? Mm. Surprised I don't go upstairs. That's really what I thought I was going to do. Is there something I got to do over here? Nope. Can I? Oh, it looks like there's something over there I can interact with. Okay. I got nervous. That's what crashed last time. It's when I was doing that, looking at some things. Put down. Okay. There we go. 
Just making ourselves at home. Okay, what we gotta do now? Take care of Carl. Wake up Carl upstairs. And then we will figure out what's next. I, I love this. It's like you unravel it as you explore. How fascinating is that? This person apparently is really into painting. Now, are they buying these paints? These paintings? Or art, I should say. Or are they doing that doing it themselves? Interesting. Yo! <laughs> Check that out! That's wild! Even got a full-size giraffe over there. This person's definitely into money. Carl? I think that was the name. We'll go into that door here in a minute, assuming we can. We have learned that just because it opens doesn't mean you can go through it. What else we got? They seem to be kind of into deer, antelope and such as well. Maybe just animals in general. Oh, check it out. The Is that some kind of a lion skin or something over the piano? That's wild. Hello, giraffe. <laughs> wow. This is so crazy. All right. Marcus is in good shape, man. I need to be on whatever uh, workout thing he's on. He's an android, though. He was built with that body. I'll, I'll chalk it up to that. Yo! Uh, good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Right? I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Carl's Oh, medicine. yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Well, we say that now. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Oh, I have to actually do it, too. Look at that. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Right? Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh. Sup, sup. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. That's crazy. Wow. Look at the bokeh effect and stuff they keep going with too. It, it really adds to a uh, cinematic feel of it all. These people feel so real. Even the androids feel so real. Okay. Take Carl to the dining table. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Oh, check Any that out. from Leo? No, Carl. Whoa, that moves fast. Him if you like. No. No, don't bother. <laughs> Nor lives are like really slow. I expected it to have some, take some time. So that's why I was gonna sit there and watch it for a minute. He beat me down the stairs. Wow. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. 
bacon and eggs just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, serve breakfast. Can I explore first, though? That's what I want to know. Do I need to... Well, he said it's already ready. I don't have to actually cook it, do I? Ah, uh, there we go. There's a little smiley face on the cup. Do you see that? Don't drop it. Don't worry, Marcus. I was a server for many years. I know how to do this. Sir. Wow. This is so odd. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Oh. And the Russian flag now flies over the ice. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. I'd love that. Mm. Okay, Carl. On the other hand, okay. Breakfast served. All right, what can I do? Find something to do. Ooh. I want to see if I can play that piano. Man, look at that TV. Pretty fancy. Okay, here. Got some books. Let's see. Anything particular? Oh, I can read? Oh, I could pick something, find something else. Oh, my goodness. Well, might as well go Shakespeare, right? How quickly can we read the book? Dude, you got done way too fast. What are you reading? Uh, Macbeth. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? Human emotions are intriguing. Though, I can't really say that I fully understand them. Humans don't understand them either. They rule our lives and we have no idea why they make us feel like beggars or kings. Life without emotions wouldn't be worth living. Hmm. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Hmm. Let's go to the studio. Wait, what? I still want to find something to do. <sighs> okay, at least I gotta look at the piano. I want to see if it was even an option. No. If it was, it ain't no more. Okay. Carl, you ate your food too fast. He has a full-grown giraffe in his living room, or dining room, or whatever this particular room is. That's, that's crazy. What? I want one. Check that out. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Oh, I thought it was a voice command, like he had, it was gonna do it automatically. <laughs> wow. Wait for Carl's instructions. Clean the studio. Yay, all right, we can do some cleaning. That'll give us a chance to kind of look around. So cool. What else can we do? Now, okay, I do see glass, so those must be real windows. At first I thought there were no, like, no walls, that those peeled away, and it was just open to the outside. Wow. Oh, and clean these up. Or we're just gonna take them from under the desk and put them on top of the desk. I don't know, is that any more clean than what it was before? 
I assume there's probably a third thing. I feel like it's always in threes. Wow, he's in all kinds of art. Alright, um... Shelf looks a little disheveled, but apparently not too big of a deal. Did I get it all clean? So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I like it. I don't like it. No opinion. Um, let's say no opinion. I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Oh. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's oh. see if you have any talent. Give it a try. I get try to paint. painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna paint. If it's like free stroke thing, I'm gonna have a blast with it. Okay, find a subject to paint. A, a statue. Paint the desk. <laughs> paint Carl's painting. No, I'm not going to do that, because then he'll criticize about... You should paint your own. Own ideas. Uh, well, what's B? We got A. I feel like I'm missing one. That's W. Oh, okay. Uh... Well, I would say out of the three, the D, the desk is probably the most interesting to me. Let's try that. Yes. It's going to be very uh, methodical. Probably precise. Wow. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world it's about interpreting improving on it showing something you see carl i don't think i can do that it's not in my program I... go on go try it grab that canvas let me paint something i'll make something this guy ain't never seen before <laughs> oh i knew that was gonna be his response it didn't matter what i picked do something for me close your eyes Close your eyes. Trust me. Okay. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Android, humanity, identity. Uh, let's go with identity. I'm curious. Uh, androids, despair, doubts, or prisoner. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I guess he would probably feel a bit like a prisoner. Let's just do androids. That feels like the friendly side of the list. This is so cool. I love the music too. Uh. Well, that's it. What am I painting? Is that him? Oh my god. Y 
You look sketchy. Hey, Dad. I knew he was a son. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? This ain't gonna be good. You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need he some needs cash, money. Dad. Okay. I knew it. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. Mm. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Must have loved somebody, otherwise he couldn't be here. <laughs> Just saying. That'll be back. Ooh, I really like that eye painting in the top right corner there. That was nice. Wow. That was cool. Leo intruded to ask. Wow. Uh, so this one, let's see, tab for world stats. I'm kind of curious to see of this selection, which ones most people picked. Okay, so most people pick, <laughs> they avoid Android probably because they're thinking, I don't want to pick robot. Might have been kind of thinking like me too, where it was like, you know, identity's the unique one out of the three. Might be why that one's the highest, but check that out. Most people go with downs. That's the one I almost picked. Copy desk, copy statue. Carl's painting. Mm. Oh, that's the book I that's the book I picked. This is so fascinating. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that sun's definitely gonna be back. Who are we going to now? Still same day. It's getting late though. Jimmy's bar. What? Is Connor still alive? Did they fix him? That rain adds a lot of particle effects. Keep an eye over there. It looks like it's doing good. No androids allowed. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Wow. So, that must be him. Scan the faces. Oh, I could go around and scan all these faces. I'll probably get myself... Uh, I'm sure each one of them is going to have a very unnice thing to say. What you staring at? <laughs> Something along that line. Shit, I thought I had your... Processing. Myers, Derek. Security guard. No criminal record. That's good. Words weren't allowed in here. Oh, can I scan? I thought I had to get in front of him and scan him. Peterson, Jimmy. No, no bad record there either. Nicely done, sir. Okay, here. Edward Dempsey, administrator. I'm scanning this guy from behind. That's impress impressive. Unemployed. Poor Jonah. He definitely isn't going to like me. What do we got here? Lieutenant Anderson Hank. Okay, we got one more. Oh, it won't let me scan him now. Oh, dang it. Introduce myself. Your problem. Not you. Lieutenant Anderson. 
My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Nobody likes the androids. Uh, threat and understanding persists. I'm going to just go persist. Connor comes I'm across sorry, very Lieutenant, but I professional. Must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Where? <laughs> Never mind. Oh no, he didn't like that. Uh, understanding. Let's go that one. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Uh, spills drink. Buy him another drink. Wait outside. Oh, let's buy him a drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Ah. That won him over a little bit. Oh. Connor, Connor just stares at him. That would feel <sighs> weird. Did you say homicide? You like that? <laughs> Connor's still alive. I wonder if he's just like another Connor. Maybe there's like a whole fleet of them. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. <laughs> Definitely hear him pulling up. You wait here. What? Be long. Uh, be patient, firm, diplomatic. Uh, let's be diplomatic. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene. Exactly. Listen. I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here. So you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not Oh, look at the droids. Anything. Oh my goodness, look, the yellow tape is like a holographic. How amazing is that? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Hey. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Use the following here. keys to switch camera angles. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by. Okay, so the only instruction still is to follow him. I see what's going on. That when he found the body. This is so much fun. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Oh. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited Gross. till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the end. Yeah, I want to investigate. Ten items? Potential to... Oh, this is going to be awesome. Inside, all the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his Andrew? Not much. Is that that red ice? It is. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. 
Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Oop. Try blood. Am I able to do like a DNA match right on the spot? Okay, there's that one. I want to examine this one right here. Okay, check. That must be the same. Oh, I see. I'm just walking all over it. Sorry, guys. My name's Connor. Q. Dried blood on the wall there. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. More dried blood. My goodness. Chris. Was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Oh, fingerprint. Signs of a struggle. Three weeks this guy spent today. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. A knife and a baseball bat? So I don't think it was a murder. It might have been a, a fight, like two people going at it. F to reconstruct. Okay. Oh, there's the knife. Deviant took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Oh my goodness, look at this. Yep, looks like he was maybe defending himself. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Was this another Sorry, done, Lieutenant. like abusive thing where he was just Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah. That's beating it. up on his robot because it's just property. Broken window. Oh, we got something else to read. Gossips Weekly. Judy Hewitt shows off her new beach bod. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Oh, no. Oh, man, what am I going to get into here? Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. The results of our survey is in, and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love going around. Uh, there were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. This story was sponsored by Eden Club. Distinct discretion is our middle name. All right, what else we got here? Is your Android spying on you? <laughs> Android phones, you know how people get on that all the time. That's awfully interesting. I like how she's like looking out the corner of her eye. Oh, that's hilarious. CyberLife could be using its Android to collect private information. More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million Androids whoo, to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. I mean, I, I don't see how you couldn't, even if you weren't trying to. The whole point of these droids are supposed to be able to learn and adapt and really gather information on the people they're working with or serving. So they took them back to fix them or anything like that. I don't know. Yeah, that would definitely be an issue. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeting advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. The spat of reports linking Warren's presidency to CyberLife only deepens such concerns. Several consumer rights organizations have requested that CyberLife disclose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a formal inquiry have been gone have gone unanswered so far. I love reading these, these things. Oh, uh, no, uh, back, how do I go, oh, tap. Super cool. 
Another big old busted up window. Dirty dishes. Place a mess. What else we got? Anything down here? Ooh, dirty bathroom. Oh. Obsessive writing. Does that say rage? Or RA9? Rag, maybe. Hmm. Oh, what we got down here? Religious offering. That's fascinating. Eight out of ten. Oh, I want to find the last two. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else here in the bathroom. The little investigation side of thing is so fascinating. Okay, we looked at that. What's keeping the car? You should have been there a half hour. Oh, did we look at the knife yet? It won't be long now. There's something over here. Guys, get a move on. We don't want to be here all night. Don't worry. None I don't think we've actually stay here a minute longer than they have to. I don't think we actually looked at the knife, did we? Open. It's like a bunch of trash in there. There's something weird in the bathroom. Did you take a look? What we got here? Ew. Come visit us. So this person might have actually been visiting that club. But I don't know why that would get him killed. Examine. There's the knife. Q. No fingerprints. Android involvement. All right. Should be one more. Let's examine the body. Oh, what's this? I am alive. Regular letters, font Cyber Life Sans. Oh. This dude is definitely done for. He's a big dude, too. Time of death, 11.30. There's the red ice. Yep. Found evidence of that. Okay. Lots of stab wounds. My goodness. 28? Yikes. What do I got here? Theft and aggravated assault. Reconstruct. All right. Oh, did he slip on the... But that wouldn't have stopped. He, he probably was still stabbed a lot. Oh. They came from the kitchen. Yeah, that's for sure. Boom. Boom. Oh. Yikes. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Okay. Report to the lieutenant. Okay, we thoroughly investigated this crime scene. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. Uh, with the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on.
I like that character. He's fun. Uh, the android stabbed the victim. The victim stabbed the android. The android threw the chair. Uh, stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... Uh, the living room? The living room. <laughs> this is wild. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife, with the bat, without a weapon. With the knife. With the knife? Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat. And lost some Therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. Uh, oh. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Search for blue blood. Oh my goodness, this is so... Crazy. Okay, that was written in red blood. All right, uh, let's check this way. Oh, uh, that's red. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, it heads down this hallway right here. Here? I thought we already checked the bathroom. Okay, we'll head over to the sink again. Or the, the tub again. Shower. Mm. Oh, we got some points we can interact with over here, it looks like. Search. Oh! <laughs> Spooked me. Tried to. Examine. A ladder was used. Oh, <laughs> attic! Traces led to the attic. Alright, find something to climb. Like there's something back this way. Oh, this investigation thing is just amazing. Can I go outside? Go out the back? No. Can I use the chair? There we go. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Gonna check something. I wonder if there's options on different things you can grab to actually climb on. Some things like more stable than others. Oh boy. Search the attic. Look for the deviant. Okay. <laughs> let's see how this goes. This is amazing. It looks like a mannequin, maybe. Freaky looking mannequin, but still one. Doesn't mean it couldn't still be back here somewhere. So, if it is up here, though, does that mean it, it's been back here for three weeks? This is nuts. 
All right, Connor, let's see if we can do this one without getting killed. Oh, I see a red dot. That must be his little circle thing on the side of his head. We need to get it blue. Oh! Located! I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Uh, I'm telling him. Still gotta pay for your crime, dude. It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! I don't have to do any negotiating on this one. Oh. <laughs> Connor found the deviant in the attic achievement. Check that out. Wow. Oh wow, so there was like a, a whole different path I could have gone on to right here. Reconstruct the crime. <laughs> I wonder what it would be like if you, you played through this and you like just didn't even bother like looking for anything. <laughs> just gave the most ridiculous answers you could. Hmm. 73%. These are so fascinating. Analyze the knife. Read Android Spy. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's some there's a line right here. I didn't go through any of that. I wonder if that's if you grab a different item to try to get into the attic. That's one spot where I could see there maybe being a, a pretty big difference. So maybe you fall and you don't actually make it up there or something. That would be wild. Oh, we're back with Kara. This one I'm actually kind of nervous about. Oh, it's earlier in the day. It's only 9 o'clock. It was like 11-something. The other one. Todd. Ooh. Do I carry Todd to bed? Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. That's a late dinner. 9.30? I don't know what time you guys eat dinner. I eat it a lot sooner than that. Uh, I tell you what though. Uh, we're at like 45, 50 minutes and these tend to be like a little over 20 minutes. We'll keep going. We'll see if we can get through another section of this. This, might be, this video might be a little bit longer, but uh, it's so awesome. I can't stop. Not yet. Spaghetti. Oh, that sounds good. You know what? I might make spaghetti for dinner. I ain't had that in a bit. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. I still love that her little name tag like lights up on her outfit there. Turn on the lights. Okay. Serve Alice and Todd. Uh, let's do napkins. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Joke. Uh, that was your choice, dude. Wait for new instructions. Uh, of course, <laughs> androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They don't do red ice. Oh, they're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? Oh, no. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Can't blame her. Taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy, 
Nobody knows. What? Your fucking fault. Why is it her fault? Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. Yes! I had a feeling this is the way it was going to go. Stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Whoa! No, I ain't staying here. Oh, it won't let me. Q. I want to move. Let me move. Yeah, baby. We're breaking through. We're breaking this command, baby. <laughs> yeah, Todd. Protect Alice. That's the new objective for sure. Reason with Todd. I ain't gonna try to reason with that guy. It ain't gonna work. Let's go straight to Alice. Let's get that gun. Yeah, he's lighting something else up. Yeah, we're going right over here to get that thing. Because it said those choices are usually helpful. Oh. Oh, no. Leave her alone. on the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? Oh my goodness. You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Yep. You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Oh no! Oh! D! No. Wrong button! S! D! Ah. Watch out! Ah! This is nuts. Come here, bitch. Yes. Oh. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Yes. Oh. Oh. Stop, Dad. Don't hurt her. Throw him out the window. Oh. This is nuts. Leave her alone. You do as I say. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I made it through all that. I know I hit one wrong button at the beginning. Oh my goodness, no one's going to believe that she was protecting a child. We got to run. I assume he's dead. Get on there. But I can't get in this section, can I? Man, that was so tense. I had to hit the S and the D so many times. That was nuts. <laughs> Look at all the different options through here.
Break the program. So this must be if you don't. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of options. This huge path down here, lots of different... Man. So I shot Todd. This must be where I didn't... Or where, where she doesn't. That's insane. Okay, you guys definitely got to let me know in the comment section. What did you do differently there? That was crazy. I'm still kind of like tense from what was going on. That, that was a quick little chapter too. At least the path that I went. Maybe some of the other paths take a little longer. Well, that's where we're going to conclude this episode with Kara now on the run with Alice. Connor's alive, or it's another Connor. I don't know. I guess we'll find out moving forward. I like the partner he's hooked up with. That's fun. This game's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to play some more of it, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Until then, continue to be safe out there. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>